Hi! Well, in the previous example, in the previous video, I solved MNIST using Copilot, which was very, very straightforward. But you might say, well, MNIST is deep learning, Copilot is deep learning, so they might know each other, so it might be an easy thing for Copilot to solve MNIST. Let's do something else. Download all the images from our homepage. So you see me typing a comment here. First thing would be import the libraries. With Python script. Let's see. Requests. I remember requests. Well, it does requests on the internet. And whoa, there you go. Beautiful soup. Beautiful soup is very good for navigating HTML files. Okay, that's good. Then I need a site URL. Um, so I already get some, let's see, some ideas here, but this is not Copilot. Let's use HTTPS colon double slash AI guru de which is where well, we might know my own page that's a site url so and if i think about it how would this work so i have to get the HTT html from the internet and then i have to search for all the images and then i have to download each image oh let's do this um so get the html code of the site okay this looks very interesting response required guess okay <laughs> Let's say as a string and remove this one, get side URL. Maybe this is already a string, I don't know. Let's see in a moment. I'm quite curious. And then well, let's call it HTML string because I, I love it when those things have the right name. So I just remove this one. And let's see what the autocomplete does. Request get site text. Okay, now it's a string. And from the HTML string, get, get all the image tags. And I don't give it any more information. So let's see what it's going to do with that. Okay, so it definitely uses um, beautiful soup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the image tags so this is something that it kind of did not get okay there are all these images so i remove this because i don't want to lie html string okay beautiful image tags and now download all the images to the hard drive this is going to be interesting so now i have the home page accessed i have the html string from the html string via beautiful soup i have all the tags now for each tag i just have to download the picture right okay so it goes image tag so this is a loop and then so this is quite some autocomplete here download all the images in the hard drive image tag and image tags uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so <laughs> let's see what it's doing Oh, there's even more. There's even suggesting a little more. So let's clean up a little. I save this one. And just to be on the same side, I open that here in the finder, because I would like to see something happening here. And then, well, why not? Python scraper. First try. Not sure yet. Let's see what's happening. So it's spinning up things. And then here something happens. So it's obviously downloading some stuff. Well, it found my logo, it found myself, and it found a picture of a block. So if I just check it, okay, those are in just a few minutes, um, roughly 30 lines of code for just downloading some data. Well, I could have done the same thing, um, <laughs> not that, that quickly. Um, usually programming involves that you have to look up documentation, find code examples. And this is something that Copilot actually does for you because it has been trained on quite a lot of data, quite a lot of source code. So it gives you code completion that, well, usually goes in the right direction. So I could have checked like on the internet. I don't know all these things from, from the top of my head, how requests works, how beautiful soup works. I knew that there's requests and there's beautiful soup because I've worked with that. Um, but if you don't work with it all day, then it gets a little bit blurry. And this blurriness is something that definitely can be overcome with Copilot. So, thanks.